Right, I've got to remember how to drive this train now. Uh, ooh, hello. I've got to fix this as well, haven't I? So let's put that on and that on, and we'll put that on, and we'll fix that so that it's right. And we'll re-enable. I'm going to do a quick pause on the game there while we just fix the uh, um, fix the stream. See if I was organised, there would have been a um, a thing dedicated for this. This needs a Steam background. We have a Steam background now. The other thing I'm going to fix while we're here is I'm going to fix this. Is that better? What sort of shape is that in? I can't see it properly. That's not in very good shape at all. How about that? Is that better? That's a big improvement. We'll go with that. Okay. Now I do need to fix this shiny, shiny head thing. I need to powder myself before I come on the stream. It's starting to get silly. All right, hopefully that will be better. Um, are we there now? I'm just trying to think if I've got everything. Uh, we need to update the uh, that one. I think we're about done. Okay, folks. Go I OMG trains. Right, so we are at Porth Platform 3. We need to do an open the doors. And we are starting off, by the looks of it, with auto coach action. So I've got to remember how to use the ringing the bells thing. So if you've not seen this, this is really interesting. You've got to um, uh, ring the bells um, to tell the driver what to do. So I'm in the auto coach at the front here, and then the fireman is in the back here, uh, and he operates based on bells that I ring telling him what to do. Ooh, got something fun going on in here. Okay, it's time to go, so let's do a three rings here. Release the brakes. Green light. Let me just put that back down where it's supposed to be. Oops, slightly breaking the speed limit, but it's not a career scenario, so it's not the end of the world. This is the Mardi branch. Uh, it also comes with the J94 loco, uh, if you haven't seen it before. It's an absolutely superb little route. Right, so pressing the bell again, he's moved the cutoff back so we can keep speeding up. We're on our way to Yinsha, or Yinisha. So, French Starling, does that mean we shall see you on the Flight Sim stream later on uh, this week then? Tomorrow, in fact. Simon Lund, why isn't the class 143 in the European Asset Pack? It is, but it's not in the usual folder. Oh, sorry, it's not in a normal folder. It's in one of the other folders, uh, like German Railroads or something like that. So we're going... We're stopping at Yenisha, just up here. Can't get the horn off now. Never mind. We're almost there now at Unisha.
Had a request for an outside view, as we should, of course. Beautiful loco, this. It comes with the auto coach. Let me just pull into this platform. Yes, this route is wheel. It's in Wales. It's a very, very tough climb. Right, let's get into here. And stop. That puts the uh, cut off back into neutral. <coughs> Wait for this passenger stop and uh, Cheers, Monty the horse. <coughs> Moggy43 says he's back with a drink and an R White's lemonade lolly. I'm not s too jealous. Just waiting for the passenger load to finish. <coughs> okay, so let's put that into release. We need to go put that full forwards. A bit of power on. Ring the bell and tell him to release the brakes. You'll see the brake pressure go up. That's it. Uh, Division Gaming, um, if you find the Train Sim Live server on FSX, that's us. It's not running at the moment, it will be tomorrow. Tylerstown is our next station. Concord Division, but uh, you'll leave us all behind. We only travel at an average of speed of about 140 knots. Uh, yes, French Stalin, we can sort flight plan out tomorrow. Alright, we're still coming up. Normally this is a coal route, so let's have a look at the map since we've got a bit of time. So you start off at Porth down here, and you work your way up. You've got a bit of a colliery here, and then you go all the way up to Mardi. So this is the top station up here at Mardi, and then you've got the sidings and the colliery up here. Can you link CDFSX with Steam? No, uh, they're actually different. Um, so you will need to have the Steam Edition. I'm just letting it speed, because <coughs> applying brakes and releasing them is difficult. <laughs>
If Dominus, uh, yeah, Ed, Ed is on the channel, he can answer any questions about the route. Got a green light. What's the point of the auto coach? It's a coach, uh, but it's a coach you can also drive the train from. So it meant they didn't have to run round or drive blind. Because if you only had the steam engine and you were trying to push it up and down the line, then you'd be driving blind. If, like in this instance, you couldn't see what you were doing. So they have the driver in the front there. So that's kind of the point. Van Lero, I can't get into the cab of the 14XX, unfortunately, but we will be getting into it when we make the return journey. So you can see the cab then. Right, we're coming into Tyler's Town. Yes, so it says it allows travel in both directions without having to run round. <coughs> As soon as we're in the platform, get the brakes on. Lucas Jan, how expensive is FSX? If the um, Humble Bundle is still running, you can get the Humble, bun Humble Winkly Bundle, the simulation bundle. Uh, it's $10. If you pay $10 or more, then FSX Steam Edition is included. And then you get six other games as well, I think. Oh, the bundle's finished, has it? Oh, that's a shame. Move the brake down to the uh, bottom section. You can't actually release the brakes from the loco, you can only apply them, and you have to, that's why you have to press the brakes off ring sequence, three rings. Brakes are off. And so are we. Cheers, JJ. Thanks for joining. Deadly Dorito, is it actually doing it for you? Essentially, I'm using these buttons to command the reverser. So yes, I'm, if I just press one button, then the reverser will, will behave a particular way. So there's, if you read the manual for the 14XX and the auto coach, it describes how, what all these things do. So if I triple click the, uh, the brake, the, the belt, then you get brakes off and it will release the brakes on the loco. Um, and uh, if I single click on this, then it will operate the, uh, the cutoff. So yes, the bells are working exactly as they should do. Absolutely beautiful loco. And it's a beautiful route for it as well. There's the J94. Oh, and there's another J94.
So our next station is Ferndale, it's one and a half miles to go. We've also got the doors actually in the wind uh, the doors open on this frame brightly. There you go, look, see you can open the doors. <laughs> Still climbing, one in forty three gradient now. <clears throat> Still got green lights, all is good. Looks like we've got J94 making its way down the hill. And slow down for this 20 limit. Noob says if you derailed in the coach, the driver will die in the fireman list. <laughs> yeah, really. <coughs> I think this thing gets really fast enough for that to become a problem. This is not meant for speed. This is Ferndale. The track levels out a little bit now. At least 184 is fairly level for this route. Oh, actually, we're levelling off a bit now. Yep, we are level now. I thought this was levelling. This levelled off. <coughs> Don't need to put the throttle up. We're in a 15 limit any minute now. I love this. You you just slow down to 15, then you get an uphill climb to go into the station, just to make it that little extra difficult. <laughs> Right, last push into the station, then we get the brakes on, that's it. Put the cut off back in the middle. Release the uh, brake handle from my side. That way they'll release when I ask him to. Uh, Noob, I've been to York Train Museum a long time ago. I still need to. Uh, I need to go back to there. I have very vague memories of it. Hey, Francois, welcome. This is the uh, Mardi branch. Uh, ride car. Um, the 
the details for joining the flight. Essentially, you can join the flight just by finding the server and joining it. So, if all goes well, the server is un, uh, under FSX, uh, we under Train Sim Live in the servers list. Um, so, make sure you log in with Steam Multiplayer inside the game, sign in on Steam, um, and then you can uh, you'll see the Train Sim Live and then just join in. Tomorrow's flight, we are f um, island hopping in the Caribbean, so we're going around um, uh, from Grenada to near Puerto Rico. Penn Central Railroad, how many states have I been to? Well, how many states have I been to at all? Quite a few, because I've flown through like Mi uh, Detroit, uh, Michigan, I've flown through Carolina and places like that, but I've not actually been anywhere but an airport. <laughs> um, in terms of places I've actually intended to go to, uh, that would be probably three. Get the brakes off. Brakes are off. Um, so that'd be Massachusetts, um, Tennessee, which is the most recent, and Florida. Above 12. That also release, uh, stops the brakes being released. So we're on our way to the final station now at Mardi. Have I visited Marias Pass? No. I've done very little railway uh, in railroads in America actually. Tennessee was where I sort of got my first real taste of the railroads. Really enjoyed it actually. It was in Knoxville. I took the family, I took my wife and uh, her dad out, well, I'll say that, they took me out, <laughs> um, doing some uh, train spotting on a number of occasions, which was uh, probably bored them to tears, but I enjoyed it. Still got a green light. Is that another J94 over there? Yes, it is. I'm going to get 25 in a minute for the up for the uphill climb. Sped up to the 25. Cheers, Morgan. Uh, cheers, GWR as well. So we are coming to the top of the hill now. Uh, we pull into Mardi Station. We can't overshoot Mardi. Van Lira is still in the cocks are all automatically managed, yes. As is all the firing. Uh, bam, what railroad companies did I notice in Tennessee? It was pretty much all Norfolk Southern. 
um, but there were one or two um, private class or little class threes that I saw running around. In fact, the first, my first US train I've ever seen was a, uh, I can't remember what it was. It was an SD40-2, I think, but it was a, uh, it was like an all-over lightish blue and uh, like a class three of some sort. Zold says I should try overshooting Mardi Moman style. <laughs> If I overshoot this station, it will be a derailment. Given that there's buffer stops at the end of the uh, line. No, it wasn't uh, Mask Sealand. It wasn't that. It was a. Uh, it was an all-over blue. I mean that looks like quite a nice livery, JM. Um, this looked very much more utility. It certainly wasn't Norfolk Southern. I'll have to look it up. I think I got a very blurry picture of it. All right, 20 limit, slightly over speeding, but never mind. Karma 99's logged in just to see me decimate and destroy his loco. Welcome, Pete. Okay, you can stop now. Doors open. I think we just got to go all the way back down now. Yep. <laughs> it might have been an ex Conrail. I think it was a darker blue than that, but it didn't have any Conrail liveries on it. It had like big letters on the side of like three or four letters. train over here. Let's go and get a picture of a train. Because picture of train, why not? Don't run away! I'll be fine then. Right. Is it time to go yet? Yeah. 
It could be something like that, Stephen Jam. Change the cab and drive back to port. If the signal doesn't show green, save, quit and resume. <laughs> okay, the signal will be green right after reloading. Let's see, uh, this other train cleared the line yet. Yeah. Well, I've been told I've proved, so let's go. The pressure is, uh, that looks rather low actually. <laughs> Alright, we're going down the hill, so we've got to be a little bit more careful as we go down now. Oh, we're not in advanced mode. Oh, I didn't change it to advanced mode. Never mind. One in 54 grade downgrade at the moment. Hey there, Matty Doyle. So you don't really have to drive too hard going down the stream, uh, going down the uh, the hill. It's mostly just an exercise in braking. So next stop is uh, Ferndale. First gear sims. Yes, the Q and A will be going up onto YouTube. Dave, she liked the uh, the card very much. So, oops, stream speeding. We're on a 1 in 34 now, so we need quite a lot more braking to control it. The blower is now on. We seem to be stuck at 107.2, Pete. I don't know what's going on there. I'm not complaining, it's working. <laughs> All right, we're slowing in. We're coming into a 15. Guess I don't need a blower. Part of the problem is that, of course, going downhill, you're not really using any steam. <laughs> oh, this is the that problem, isn't it? Yeah, I do need to get water in. It's 
slowing down too much now. Eighty per cent water now. Ninety per cent. Get it up to ninety five and then we'll stop it. I'm slowing down too much again. Ah. <laughs> We're still going to be there early, so I'm not too fast. Now we've got a bigger, steeper grade again. stop here if I don't hurry up. Come on, slow down, slow down. Alright, full brakes. All the way. Doors open. I do like the door animations on this. Nice screenshot of a woman walking through a bench. Let's try that again. Uh, Matty Tor, your lanyard, sorry, yes, it's on my bedside table upstairs. BNSF, you wanted to, yes, I have a tutorial for the 14XX and the auto coach already planned. I just need to get it scheduled in. Okay. Of course, if I was selected to the game, the keys would work better. Twenty limit in a moment. One on one in eighty-eight grades. So a bit of braking power just to keep control, because control is my middle name. Come 
One and eighty three down. First Kiss Sims, how do you type on uh, other programs without TS minimized since the desktop? Use borderless full screen. Yeah, if you use the borderless full screen mode, um, then it uh, it it's it coexists with other windows uh, really really well. Francois, um, yeah, there's quite a bit in fishing. I mean, it's including multiplayer now as well. But uh, by basically for Friday, I'm going to do the academy stuff, uh, just so that I can remember how to, um, you play the game, and then we'll uh, maybe do some multiplayer fishing if people are up for it later on and run a future stream. Who's got DTG fishing? Just out of interest. If we were going to do a multiplayer, who would be up for it and able to join? Oops. That's what we want. Pressing the wrong button here. How are we doing ETA wise? We're still due to come in early, so then we're doing alright. Too much break. We're almost back down to Tyler's town. Mavadello, how many people can actually join multiplayer? I don't know what the limit is. I haven't a clue. I've never really done it myself. I, bet I haven't really played the last two or three releases they've made. I've seen them, uh, and they look very impressive, so uh, I'm looking forward to giving it a proper go. Alright, slowing down for Tyler's town. <laughs> Slow down way too much. <laughs> oh dear. I need more practice with this loco.
Let's screech the brakes on. BNSF, yes, this is a real route. It's in, it's based in Wales. Doesn't exist anymore, but uh, it certainly was real. Uh, Robo Slayer, can you renumber and rename engines? It depends on the engine, but most of them, yes. You just uh, double click on them in the in the scenario editor and you can type a new number in. And the name is normally part of that, so you'd use your single letter normally to uh, type it. Comma 99 says, I think Matt is beyond help. Yeah, I'm so good, I'm beyond help. <laughs> I'm also slightly deluded. I also don't understand the definition of the word slightly. <laughs> Right. Alright, 30 limit now for a run down to Yenisha. What do I like about the FEF3? The insane amount of detail on it, the level of complexity of the simulation. There's just nothing to not like. Have I played any other games but simulations? Elite, Euro Truck Sim, Flight Sim, Racing Games, Assetto Corsa. I like simulations. Going down the hill now. Uh, Britallica, is this DLC or add-on on Steam? Yes, uh, this is the Mardi branch, M-A-E-R-D-Y. Um, is the root, uh, and the loco is the 14XX, which is uh, also on Steam. It's by Victory Works. Uh, Van Lero, if your Steam chest is not getting power, um, then I would suggest your coal level is too low. Put some coal on. What was my first simulation game? Oh, I don't know, but I remember F117 Stealth Fighter being pretty early on by Microprose. Alright, we're on our way down to Yenisha now. Again, we're going to be about two minutes early, so we've got time to uh, ease in. I just noticed that was a red light there, down there. I'm going to get told off for spadding like crazy. <laughs> Elite was pretty early, yeah, sitting on the Sinclair Spectrum and the BBCB. Elite was, uh, they probably predate actually, Micropose um, F117 Stealth Fighter. I used to love that. 
go on complete sorties. Silent service. Oh yes, used to play that one. Was it a green? Did I miss a signal? I did press the uh, control tab key, so doesn't matter. What's the deal with Nebworth? In one of the scenarios um, on the stream some time ago. Uh, I was intended to stop through uh, Nebworth and uh, I was not paying any attention and I can just drive straight through it like it wasn't even there. If you look on the failure video you can see Nebworth has its own section on the failure video. After all the lovely uh, sound effects going up the hill this is definitely uh, slightly less uh, Exciting. Don't know if you've noticed, by the way, but uh, having changed directions, the uh, or cabs, the uh, uh, driver has gone. If you could dock manually in Elite on the C64, you were the king of gaming. Well, I could dock manually on Elite on the ZX Spectrum. So, does that count? The specky you could chuck it in sideways. <laughs> Cheers, Robo Slayer. Thanks for joining. Who remembers Space Shuttle Simulator? NSSW. I've ever played Microsoft Train Simulator. Yeah, I used to run one of the biggest websites in the uh, in the UK. In fact, the biggest website in the UK for Microsoft Train Sim. It's called UKTrainSim.com. Yeah, I've played uh, played Microsoft Train Sim for years. In fact, my son's just got it reinstalled on his machine this weekend. Because apparently he's incredible. He's insane. Right, let's head on to Porth. Simon Lund, what about Rosenheim? Kerbal Space Program is outstanding, isn't it? I've got space engineers as well. Yep, the Tokyo Hakone route, I remember that. Uh, first Gear Sims, Peter Pedelson is my father, not my brother. <laughs> but close enough. That's alright, Dad likes it when everyone says that uh, he's my brother. So. <laughs> I haven't broken it yet, but then I'm not running in advanced mode. I forgot to press Ctrl A and put it in advanced mode. So it probably doesn't count. <coughs> game Tycoon, da Game Dev Tycoon is very good, Ninja Joker. I finished that. Slow down for the 15. Let's get some, uh, get some water going in.
JM 1260, didn't you make a Delta or something famous? Yes, yes I did. Uh, it was on the Abacus Roundhouse pack. <clears throat> For my shame. Morricom, did Highworth ever get finished? It certainly did, and it's absolutely splendid. You can download Highworth from UK Train Sim at the moment. It's all there. Tons of it. It's huge. FTL I've got, yeah. Hey, PTG's got his next video recorded. Outstanding. Got loads of times. So I'm just coasting into the station. Pete says he's got 229 hours on FTL. Clearly this man has a lot of time. <laughs> Ariel Mitz just found the Abacus Roundhouse pack. Yeah, my Deltic's on the front cover. That was pretty cool, actually. I didn't know they were going to do that. And when I walked into um, Game, our local, uh, the, the one of the main UK uh, game stores, um, and saw and saw my loco staring back at me from the shelf, um, that was a pretty awesome moment. It has to be said. That was uh, yeah. I shan't forget that in a hurry. Another choo choo coming the other way. Well done, thank you for driving. I didn't get trolled. That's awesome. <coughs> Smell a mess. <laughs> oh dear. Right, one more scenario to do tonight. There's fight and talk going on in the chat. <clears throat> uh, right, let me find the name. <clears throat> 